Hello guys, this is Amos Gaming and this video is created to help all those new Skyblock players who do not know where to start. So to prevent them from wasting hours and hours of the time on the very annoying and tedious early game so they can get right into the more fun other aspects of the game. So if you know someone or if you have a friend that wants to start Skyblock and you don't want to like manually teach them all the early game content again, go ahead and just share this video with them. And yeah, let's get right into the video series. So right off the bat, we're going to spawn on our island. It won't be exactly like this because I've kind of built on it already. But yeah, you should see a portal over there and then there should be a tree here. Just punch down the tree and collect the wood and then you can either like build towards the portal but there's a better way. Um, the easier way is to type slash hub, okay? And by any chance, if you want to go back to your island, you can type slash is which is this island that you spawned at but anyways so slash hub goes right into the hub so now that we're at the hub the first thing we want to do is to get a special sword from jamie so jamie you turn around uh, 180 degrees and then go towards here right click him and then it'll give you something called a rogue sword okay it's a special item i already have it already so as you can see the rogue sword 30 seconds cooldown it gives you 100 speed okay so it costs 45 mana so yeah so you right click on it and then you'll be moving a lot quicker it will help you in just playing the game a lot quicker since you can travel quicker as well okay so the next thing that we need is 100 coins uh, on the right here purse it tells you the amount of coins that you have the coins are very important because pretty much it is the currency where you can buy items from other players, buy items from the shop, etc, etc, to progress in the game, okay? But anyways, okay, to get 100 coins is actually extremely easy, okay? And you can do it straight from the hub alone, okay? By breaking wheat and nether warts and selling it to any shop NPC, okay? So when you're in the hub, turn right here, okay? You can either break the nether warts there, or you can break the wheats here. The wheat, there's a lot of wheat here, so you might as well just go over here, okay? So just go ahead and break the wheat, pick up all the wheat, okay? The reason why you're not seeing any wheat being dropped is because I've already unlocked auto pickup, so I don't have to manually pick up the items on the floor, dropped on the floor, okay? But I'll teach you how to unlock that, like, shortly after, okay? So make sure to pick up everything that you farm here because you wanna be able to sell it to the NPC, okay? So yeah, go, go ahead and break everything, break as much as you can, just go, go through and break, like, a whole cycle of crops here okay okay so yeah, once you have broken all like the wheat here you can just go back to where you came from the hub okay you can go to any NPC but the closest one here is just the farm merchant okay so you click on the farm merchant and then you can just sell all your stuff to the NPC okay uh, yeah so you can just Sell, 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 sell. You can see I've already exceeded 100 points already just from that. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. Even 1,000, okay? Fantastic, fantastic. All right. So, now that you have over 100 coins, uh, go ahead and go to the Weaponsmith. Okay, so where is that? Okay, let's just go back to the hub. Okay, so when you spawn at the hub, here, you go to the left a little bit okay Get down here and then you see the weaponsmith here's the weaponsmith just click the weaponsmith and now what you need to do is buy yourself an undead sword okay it should be about 100 coins i have a specific uh, item that reduces the cost a little bit from the shop but anyway 100 coins that's why we needed that okay so buy it left click okay and now we take this awesome sword Okay, the reason why it's stronger than the Rogue Sword, the Rogue Sword is 20 damage, but this is 30 damage, but it also deals 100% more damage to Wither's Zombies, Skeletons, and Zombie Pigments. So it's quite good for a, a beginner weapon, okay? Beginner sword. Okay, so now we take this sword and head to the graveyard. Okay, so where is the graveyard? Okay, we go back down here. So, okay, so this is the face of the hub spawn. So we turn 180 degrees. Okay, and we go past Jamie. Go, 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 and then we go through this kind of structure, and here, kill 
as many zombies as you can to reach level six combat skill. To see your skills, skyblock menu, which is the nether star, right click it. You can go to your skills, you can see what level it is. Currently I'm combat 52, but you should be at like zero or one, depending if you have killed any hostile mobs yet. But anyways, yeah, so combat, click it, and then you see here, combat level six, the reason why we want to unlock combat level 6 is the auto pickup block and mob drops, the thing that I was talking before, okay? We want to unlock this because we uh, we won't need to waste any time to slowly pick up all the drops from the floor. So go ahead and use your undead sword and kill all these zombies, okay? Make sure to also pick up the rotten flesh that drops from the zombies because you also need 100 rotten flesh collection to craft something called the zombie pickaxe which is actually a fantastic starter pickaxe because it has an ability that grants haste to when breaking blocks okay so if you want to see the collections you can actually go back to the nether star go to collection go to combat collection go to rotten flesh and then you can see it's this one 100 okay so zombie pickaxe just like that you craft it from three rotten flesh and two sticks like that just like a pickaxe okay you can see mining speed 190 and it's haste two for five seconds when breaking ores very awesome pickaxe okay so go ahead kill zombies zombies kill 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 okay once you have reached combat six and have auto pickup unlocked it is now time to obtain farming level seven foraging level seven and mining level 12 because all those that will unlock you something called the bazaar which is pretty much the service market where you can easily buy and sell all the materials in the game with other players and also you will unlock the dwarven mines which is pretty much the most important area for early game players for progression more detail about that later in the video okay so starting with how to get farming level seven quickly Buy yourself a rookie hoe from the farming merchant for 10 coins. Okay, so we turn right here, go to the farming merchant, rookie hoe, it's only for 10 coins. Okay, so buy this. And yeah, farm wheat, okay? Just like before, go over there and farm wheat, okay? So go ahead, farm, 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 farm. Okay, so say that you have already farmed all the wheat in this hub. A great tip is to actually swap lobbies. Okay, so just type slash hub. Okay, and go back to here, the hub selector. All you need is to right click him. Okay, you wanna choose this compass here, random hub or small hub, so you don't have to wait for the crops to regrow on that same hub that you just farmed all the wheat. So efficiency once again, okay? So just click, okay? And then you swap to another hub, go back here and farm, 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 farm all the wheat etc etc until you have reached farming level seven okay so once again you can check your farming level by going to skills okay and then farming okay the next thing after you've got farming seven is to acquire foraging skill level seven okay so how to do that we're going to first craft yourself a golden axe you can get three gold from the mine merchant okay so mine merchant you go down here it's near the weapon merchant so go down here the mine merchant over here, all right? And buy yourself three gold, okay? Just go, doop, doop, we've got four, it's okay. And then, uh, yeah, to get sticks, you can either get your, you know, the wood that you collected from your original island, okay? Craft them into sticks, or you can actually directly buy sticks from the lumber merchant, okay? So let's just go back to the hub again, okay? So the lumber merchant from the hub, you turn left here, you go down here, right here lumber merchant and then you can actually directly purchase sticks okay so craft yourself a, oops an axe there we go it's a golden axe here we go okay so once you have your golden axe now we need to break some wood but as you can see not all the wood can be broken for the materials okay so say everyone break this doesn't drop anything okay and then the trees near the hub also doesn't drop anything so this one doesn't drop anything so we want to head towards jamie and then head past here and keep going and you see lumberjack okay so here all the trees and then the logs here are all breakable for wood okay so simple as that you break a piece of wood you gain some foraging 
experience, okay? So all you need to do is to break enough wood to get foraging seven, okay? And once again, uh, throughout your progression in breaking these wood, you can check what level you're up to and how much EXP you needed to level by going to skills, go to foraging, and you can check it from there. Now, after you have reached foraging seven, I will teach you a very fast way to level up mining by not mining your typical ores, but to actually mine sand at the desert with a shovel, okay? So as we said, we first need to craft a golden shovel. Okay, so once again, we craft a shovel. Oh, we already have a piece of gold from the uh, four gold we purchased before and the sticks, okay? So yeah, you can go to the mine merchant to purchase gold and then the lumber uh merchant to purchase the sticks okay but anyway we have enough from before so craft a shovel like so okay now we have our golden shovel okay okay so uh i already have one in my inventory before so you will actually want at least efficiency three to insta break sand okay we need that insta break because that allows it to be very fast to gain the mining experience because one sand that you break is pretty much like mining experience so if you insta break sand it'll be just like spamming mining experience very easily okay so uh now that we have got your efficiency uh shovel now we have to go to the desert island okay you might be confused what what desert island so let's just go back to slash hub all right so from here all we need to go diagonally right Okay, so past the wheat that we've been to before already. Okay, past this windmill, and then we arrive to the slime blocks launch pad, and it says travel to the farming islands, and we go. Okay, now we have the farming islands. Okay, if you have your rendering distance, uh, if you turn slightly to the left, you can see that there's this kind of archway over there. We want to head up towards there okay so diagonally left and up okay so let's go up we go and as you see travel to desert settlements let's go so all you need to do is take out your golden shovel and now just like zigzag instant mine everything and you can see that your mining exp is like skyrocketing and your mining levels are just going up and up like that okay so all you need to do is uh get to mining 12 okay and also like this is like the sand that you acquire from here is actually a very very good like way to make money for early game so yeah just get the sand and then sell it back at like the npcs at the hub okay so after you have done all this okay we're gonna go ahead and craft our first most useful armor set so we don't get one shot by the mobs in the deep caverns and eventually the dwarven mines okay notice we actually pretty much naked this whole time and we did not craft any of the vanilla minecraft silver or diamond armor because those armor like they're pretty strong in the vanilla minecraft but they are like useless and very weak in skyblock in hypixel skyblock okay but anyways, this armor set that we're going to go and get is the mushroom armor, okay? And we can also get this from deserts, so that's why I included this in the video, so you're being more efficient right after you've done this, okay? So all you need is 250 mushroom collection, yeah, as you can see in the collection here, farming collection, and then go to mushroom, right Yeah. all right, okay, this is what we need, okay? 250 collection and then yeah the recipe is very simple like as if you're crafting your normal armor set but just with mushrooms okay so all you need to do okay uh to make it less confusing i'll go back to the same spot where we arrive right at the um desert island okay so we arrived here right okay so here's what's the sand that we were mining okay go down down here Okay, go down here. Okay, down here, down here. And then you can see, okay. Now, very important. Uh, the quickest way to actually obtain the mushroom collection and also the mushrooms is actually not by breaking these mushrooms. You can, you can actually 
get like mushrooms from this as well if you want but the quickest way and the best way is to actually kill the mushrooms okay the mushrooms are these mushroom cows okay so yeah because these drop like a guaranteed two to four mushrooms okay per kill and also you can get like raw beef and leather collection from it as well so you're kind of killing more birds with one stone okay so like three collection items um yeah with just one kill instead of like these mushroom blocks they don't always drop mushrooms best way is to just kill these cows enough to get the collection okay so yeah since it's two to four per cow that means you would only have to kill about um like maximum if you are very unlucky in getting two mushrooms per cow like 120 125 yeah yeah but if you get four most of them yeah i think you'll be able to get it in less than 100 kills okay so once you have reached the 250 collection you can craft the armor now with just 24 mushroom okay so oh, lagging okay so just like how you craft regular armor Okay, dip, dip, and then dip. Oh, missing one. Okay, it's like that. And then you equip it. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so right now is actually nearly the finish of nighttime, but as you can see, it's actually pretty strong because look at the armor set. During the night, that's the most strong part of it. The stats of this armor pieces are tripled. So, it, like, it applies to uh enchants and also reforges so if you can you would also want to put uh, an enchant growth and protection onto it and reforge it uh to titanic okay so you can survive the trek into the deep caverns to reach the dwarven mines okay so all you need to do to reforge it if you want to reforge your armor just go to the blacksmith blacksmith Oop. okay you reforge it okay Heavy is okay as well, but you are slower. It gives you negative one speed, okay? But it gives you defense, which is pretty good since you need that. But uh, Titanic would be pretty good. Okay, so applying the protection and growth and reforges on your armor is not 100% needed, but it would just help you to traverse the mines easier, okay? And not dying as much. But anyways, once you have got all this done, okay? We can go ahead and go back to the hub, okay? I just go back to the hub familiar sites okay we go and now unlock the bazaar located in between the bank and the auction house so this auction house is the bank and also uh in between the lumber merchant and all these three triangulated over here you can see bazaar right here unlock it by just like right clicking it and then you open him up go to the mining category the pickaxe and now we want to buy 10 enchanted lapis not the normal lapis okay so let's go to the lapis here not this one but it's the enchanted lapis so 10 of them would cost 6,000 coins so if you don't have enough coins uh you just have to go ahead and farm more sand i guess okay so say that you have money now so come back to the bazaar go back to the mining category and then click lapis and then go enchanted lapis say buy instantly or you can like buy order if you're patient and you want to buy at a cheaper price but it's all right like it's not such a big difference just go ahead and buy instantly custom amount you want 10 and then yeah buy now there you go 10 enchanted lapis okay and then go back and do the same for the enchanted redstone buy 10 of that so not the normal redstone so make sure not this one and also not that one well this one is more expensive anyway so yeah enchanted redstone buy 10 of that Buy instantly, same thing, 10. And then also enchanted gold, 10 of them. Okay, these 30 enchanted items are the cheapest one to buy from the bazaar. Okay, we need these so we can go to the dwarven mines, to unlock the dwarven mines. Okay, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, so after that, after you have all these 30 cheapest enchanted items, uh, make sure to actually deposit your coins into the bank because the trek to the Dwarven Mines is a lot of mobs and you might die, okay? So make sure to do that because uh, the mobs 
uh, when they kill you, when you die, well, even if you fall off the map or whatever, if you die, you lose half of the money in your purse. To go to the Dwarven Mines, well, to unlock the Dwarven Mines, first we need to go to the Coal Mine, okay? So uh, from the hub here, go a little bit to the left, okay, you just need Coal Mine, and then go down, keep going down, keep going down, and then you see, travel to Gold Mine, let's go. Okay, go down, go down, 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 down. Keep going, keep going, and then travel to deep caverns. Go over here as well. All right, and then keep going down, and then here, take a right. Talk to this lift operator. Okay, so I have everything unlocked already. Okay, so once you make it to each particular place you can actually it's like a checkpoint so if you die at i don't know like slime hill or like diamond reserve you can just go back to the lift and go straight back to that level without needing to keep going down okay so it makes it a lot easier that way but anyways so once you unlock the lift we go down here okay and then this is the lapis quarry all right, so from the lift operator at the Lapis Quarry, we go down here and then down to the Redstone Pigment Den. All right, yep, yeah. let me see. All right, so the lift operator is here. Okay, so what you need to do, keep going down. So just go down here. Oh, not over here. Yeah, yep, right here. So you want to just keep going down, okay? And now it is the slime hill, okay? These slimes are pretty annoying, so if you are... Uh, yeah, you just want to kind of like navigate around them or just kill them, okay? So yeah, just keep going, keep going. All right, so what... Okay, so say that you, you are kind of lost and don't know what to do. So uh, use the trick where you can actually just die. So say if you died, Okay, I can't die. Okay, that's that's lame. Okay. Anyways, let's pull back an armor. So say if you died, uh, you go to the lift and then you'll be spawned right here at the lift operator. Okay? So, to keep going down from here to the diamond reserve, all you need to do is to go to the... Uh, like, you go a bit right here. So you go right through here, the water. Yep, so through that water here. And then you go down here. Yeah, because the slime hill is quite confusing. Like you might be going in a circle for a long time. So this is the best way to go from the lift operator of the slime hill. Okay, so go down, go down, go down. And we are now at the diamond reserve. All right. So once again, this is kind of like a maze. So do the trick again and like die and then use the lift operator and go to the front of the uh, diamond reserve lift operator. Okay, so now we are here at the lift operator and then we go to the left down this corridor and We are at the Obsidian sanctuary. Okay, which is like the last level before it goes to the dwarven mines Okay, so once again do the same thing find a mob and then just like die so you you can go to the lift and go to the front of the obsidian sanctuary okay so we are at the front of the obsidian sanctuary lift operator as you can see reese this is the npc that we need so the enchanted items that we bought go ahead and have it in your hotbar inventory so you have to have it right at your inventory hotbar okay so you give it to him by right clicking on him okay and he'll take it so pretend he took it because i already done it already so right click that and then right click that and then right click that okay and then you'll be taken to the dwarven mines and there you have it now you have unlocked the dwarven mines where you can access it from the lift as well from the previous like uh deep caverns lift as well okay so you don't have to travel down all the way down all the time it's a great job in making it this far as this is quite a very important early game area where a lot of your next progression will all be related to.
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, make sure to hit like and hit subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Comment what you want to learn next from Skyblock. And also click the links in the description. Those are the playlists and the other videos that will continue on to the next part of this video series. And as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you all next time.